Hey everyone, okay, so this is your mindfulness minute and I've gotta like back myself up in my living room today um, so you can see what I do. This is an amazing technique to generate energy in the middle of your day if you feel your energy waning or your focus, just like you're not thinking clearly or you're super stressed, like you're feeling like you don't have enough time to get things done or um, you know, you're just feeling anxiousness or worry. So to, it's actually better to take a couple seconds to reframe your brain and I'll explain how we're doing that. Um, just taking those few minutes and I promise this won't take more than about three and a half minutes, but you will get way more out of your time for taking this little break to reframe than if you tried to power through. Okay, so here's an example. This is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just stand with your feet, um, you know, pretty close together. Your abdominals are deep. You're gonna roll your shoulder blades back and down. You have this great posture going on, this alignment, which already energizes you. And you're just gonna lift one foot off the floor. Okay, now whenever we lift a foot off the floor, that hip is gonna to wanna to hike up a little bit to help you. We don't need that help. You can do it just with this, your hip flexor. So keep your waist sides even. That's the bottom rib and the top of the hip. You wanna keep them even on both sides. So you might have to adjust that. And just live here a second and just breathe. Find your balance, just focusing on that balance. If you wanna keep a hand on your desk or counter, that's great but just fingertip it. Really give yourself this moment to wobble and find your place, because this is life right here. Let's switch sides. <clears throat> so again, you're gonna lift that leg, keep your waist sides even, and here we go. You're giving yourself a moment to just experience what balance is. Balance is actually the hardest thing. It is the, a gazillion micro contractions, a gazillion negotiations between your oppositional muscles to keep you appearing to be still. And if this isn't what we do in life, I, I don't know what it is, right? This is exactly it. We have the appearance of having it all together, but there's a lot going on under the surface. And so if we practice something physically, it kind of translates into our mindset and into our life. If we get comfortable with the juggle, the constant tiny motion, then we get comfortable with that in our life. Okay, here we go. Now for the breathing reframe. So what we're gonna do is find that balance again. Again, if you need to give yourself a little stability by holding on a little bit, please do, but don't take the balance element totally out of it. Here we go. You're gonna lift your leg to the side slightly and bring it back in on an inhale, exhale, and then lift it up and down on an inhale, exhale. Connect the breath to the movement. Here we go. I'm gonna namaste my hands here and you're gonna be bringing the pressure together and think about energy shooting out through the fingers, okay? Abs deep, shoulder blades down, let's do this. And it's gonna be inhale, exhale, and now from up and down. Inhale and exhale. Again, keep this pace, inhale, exhale. Just find your balance if you need to. Inhale and exhale, again. Inhale and exhale. A little sniff of air, big exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more, that breath flowing through you. I know this work is getting, and this leg's getting really tired. It's getting a lot of work. And rest good, we're gonna switch sides. So what we're doing here is inhale, exhale. Taking a balance movement with a coordinated exercise and a coordinated breathing pattern. And what that does is activate your prefrontal cortex, your hippocampus, and your cerebellum. Three, what I call positive brain centers. And while they're all activated to accomplish this exercise, guess what can't be working? The amygdala in your brain. That's your fear and anxiety center. So we are short circuiting that right now while you focus on this. And we're oxygenating your entire body. So not just all your muscles to accomplish this work, but also your brain. Okay, the last. So abs are deep, shoulder blades are sliding back and down. Step up a little further, it's just gonna be one foot at a relatively quick breathing pattern to generate energy. And it's gonna be inhale, exhale. Little sniff of air, big exhale. And exhale. And exhale, very purposeful breathing. And exhale, switch. 
super powerful lungs. You can pull in a ton of air with just a little sniff through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. You have two more. Looking straight ahead. And last one. Inhale and exhale. And rest. Face forward. Roll your shoulders back and down. You might find oh, you just naturally take that deep breath. If not, let's do it. Exhale, shake it out. All right. How do you feel? So at this point, what you should feel is that you should feel very alive and awake. You'll notice we've, we've given your entire body a burst of oxygen, which enlivens your muscles and your brain. And if you were worried or anxious before, you might find that things seem a little more manageable right now, or at least you're in a calmer, clearer place to handle what's ever on your plate. And that's what we're looking for, these little short circuits. If you practice things like this every day, you will actually train your brain when you're feeling triggered to take that energy and now channel it into positive energy, which is hopefully what this series just did for you. So now you have taken any anxious energy and we've reframed it and just go ahead and pour that right into whatever your next task is for the day. See you next week.